Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we have got another Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 Prestige class description for you. And today, coming at you from the Complete Divine, we've got ourselves the Contemplative. So, today we are going to be talking about what is the Contemplative, then we're going to talk about what it takes to become a Contemplative, then we're going to talk about what you get as a Contemplative, and finally we're going to talk about how good the Contemplative is and how you might use it in a build. So, let's get started. So, the Contemplative, it's... An interesting one. It's somebody who, um, generally a cleric or potentially a paladin, that devotes themselves very fully to the concept of um, their of, of their deity or to um, whatever cause it is they believe in. They believe in it very deeply and very fully, uh, more so than most. They they crave it. Um, they've had contact with the deity or. Uh, some uh, great divine power, and they want more. Um, so they devote themselves to gaining, uh, uh, to you know, bettering themselves and making themselves worthy of further contact uh, with this great divine power that they worship. And well, uh, some do this by you know, cloistering themselves up and holding themselves up into a room, while others go out into the field and you know, sh you know, express. Uh, the will of their deity. Um, yeah, so that is uh, what they are. Uh, now let's talk about what it takes to become uh, a contemplative. So first off, you need to, uh, this is the one that really is the kicker. You need 13 ranks in knowledge religion. That's a big deal because you're going to need at least 10 levels in a class before this. So you can't jump into 11th level. That kind of sucks. Um, the rest of this is much easier. Next up, first you need first level divine spells. That's not that hard. One level of cleric will get you there. Um, yeah. And finally, you must have uh, had direct contact with one's patron deity or with a divine servant of that deity or an enlightened uh, being embodying the highest principles uh, of an alignment, uh, a solar, for example. So you'll need to have made uh, pretty... You will need to have that contact um, with uh, the divine power that you worship um, in order to get in. So that that one will need to be met. That's uh, a role play requirement. So yeah, uh, that's what it takes to get in. Let's talk about how good they are. So first off, um, D6 hit dice. Less than the cleric, but it's, it's not bad. Um, they have a bad base attack bonus, so that kind of sucks. Uh, good re uh, sorry, not good reflex. Good will save, but bad fortitude and reflex save. Okay, that's oh, all right, I guess. Uh, skills, uh, 2 plus int, uh, with an okay skill list. Uh, it's got all the important ones, at least. So their chassis, it's okay. It's worse than most divine casters, but it's not terrible. Um, let's see. They also get spell casting, full spell casting. So every level, they are going to gain um, a level. Of, it's going to advance their spell casting. So that's always nice uh, in a divine class only. Let's see, which, you know, makes sense. Uh, let's see. Uh, they also get a bonus domain at first and sixth levels. This is huge. Uh, they can pick any bonus domain that they would normally have, that they would have been able to take, um, like when they were choosing their domains initially. So that's really nice. Um, they get divine health. So that is, uh, that makes them immune to any sort of disease. So pretty cool right there. Uh, slippery Mind. So at second level, they're able to, um, if they have like some sort of mind affecting effect uh, hit them that they fall for, um, they can try again on the next round to break out. Um, they can do that once, so that's that's all right. Um, uh, they get divine wholeness, which will uh, let them heal their wounds. Um, basically, they can just heal four times class level uh, per day um, all at once, or they can split it. It's not the greatest, but it's an extra, you know, potentially 40 health once you've got all 10 levels. Um, let's see, get uh, Divine Soul. Um, basically, that just gives them SR equal to 15 plus class level, which is, if you get in as early as you can, going to be your total, your ECL plus 5, and then it'll just cap at 25 once you hit 20th level. Not the greatest, in all honesty, but it's something. Um, they get Eternal Body. Um, that's basically the same as Timeless Body that uh, Druids and Monks get. Um, they uh, don't age. Um, yeah. 
and they get to keep the stuff. So it's basically a timeless body, and they still die uh, when their time's up. Uh, and then finally, the 10th level, they get Mystic Union, uh, which will give them, uh, which changes their type to, uh, what is it, uh, Outsider Native, and it gives them DR10 magic. Okay, so that's what they get. Let's talk about how good they are. Uh, so most of the stuff they get is pretty subpar, to be honest. I mean, really the only thing that's worth mentioning uh, is the, the bonus domains. The SR is not great. It's something, but it's not great. A similarly leveled caster is going to have about a 75% chance of getting through it. And of course, once you get past Epic, it, that starts to go up. So yeah, it's not the best. It's something. Uh, I mean, it gives you 25% resistance to magic, I guess. So that's kind of good, but it's not the best. Um, Mystic Union has its flaws. Um, outsiders are a little harder to revive, and a lot of things don't work on them. So that's good and bad. Um, yeah, the one really nice thing is those domains. And one kind of problem with that is if you're worshiping a deity, you likely already picked the two best domains. Um, when you started as a cleric and now you get two more of the less good domains that you could have chosen from. So, you know, you have less, it's, it's not as good as it seems to get more domains. Um, since, you know, you're going to be picking lesser versions of the same, uh, two that you could have originally chosen from. Now, if you're worshiping, um, you know, an alignment or something, yeah, you'll have more options on that. So that could be better. Of course, there's feats that you can take that uh, will allow you to take other um, uh, alignments, uh, other, uh, uh, what am I spacing it, domains. Uh, you, you find, uh, you get other domains. So that works. Um, so if you do that, it can actually be really powerful to get uh, two extra domains. Even then, I really don't see going in this class for more than six levels. You take it for a one level dip and get a single bonus domain. Or you take six levels to get the second one, and then you kind of dip out. There's not a whole lot that you get um, for the higher levels. I mean, Divine Soul isn't great. I mean, you, I guess you can take another level for Divine Soul to get some DR, or not DR, some SR, but it's kind of low-level SR. So, uh, you know, it's not going to help you that often. But I guess it can protect you against uh, weaker casters and... Uh, give you some level of protection against the higher level caster. So it, it, it's not nothing. Um, yeah, and I mean, you, you get full casting, so that's still pretty solid, even if the abilities are, uh, even if a lot of what this class gets is subpar. Full casting in two bonus domains is kind of a big deal. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, contemplative for you. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D&D 3.5 content. Uh, because I do one of these on every single class, race, and prestige class in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. So ring that notification so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing you.